My friends, with all the videos that I've made and all the horrible people that we've covered on this channel, you might find it hard to believe, but the guy who's the topic of the video today is the one I've gotten the most like vitriolic comments about. And it's not like it's directed at me, they just really don't like Only Use Me Blade. People can't stand this guy. After seeing the one video of how he treated his wife when there were dudes in his RV trying to make passes at her, and he just sat there drunk letting it happen like the pathetic man he is. Then there was that other video we did on Blade where his wife basically cheated on him right in front of him while he was like piss drunk stumbling around an RV. Uh, funnily enough, the guy that she cheated on him with is the same guy that's messing with him here in the video we're going to be looking at today. Blade has a long history from being one of the, like, the top guys in the Call of Duty commentary community years ago to now being a dude who just sits on an RV and has people donate to him in order to get him to drink more and more alcohol to make an ass out of himself on stream. It's his literal job. And one of the reasons I think people hate watching Blade is because they see a man who doesn't give a shit about his life just pissing it away to try to make some money on his way out. And, you know, th the morality behind that aside, you're gonna see exactly what Blade gets up to on a nightly basis here in a couple minutes. And all that drinking and all these fucking years of n not treating his diabetes and all this shit has really started to catch up with him because it's been said to death how horrible Blade looks, but when I jumped on and looked at his stream the other night, dear God, I've never, I've never seen him look worse than this. I really haven't. But really quickly before we get into that, I don't do this often, but I want to give you guys a warning. If seeing people look like in incredibly bad health, kind of looking like in a real, a real gross way is not your type of thing, I suggest clicking off this video now because Blade, he just needs to figure it the fuck out. That's all I'm going to say. But I gave you the warning and now we're going to jump into it. So the other night when I clicked on the stream, this was the first visual I was greeted to. Now, firstly, that's jaundice. Now, that's indicated by the fact that Blade's eyes are the bags around his eyes. I mean, just kind of looks like he has two black eyes, but they're two yellow eyes. And when I first saw this, it just took me back a little bit because I was like, whoa, like, <laughs> he, uh, I've never seen him look like that on stream. Maybe I've not been watching my only use me Blade close enough, but I have not. And, um, you know, jaundice is indicative of a problem with your liver. I know it's like you can't process like a certain thing. I, I don't know the exact textbook definition of it. I ain't no doctor, but I know that there's something fucked up about your liver if that's how your eyes are looking. Now, when I first clicked on the stream, the whole chat were saying things like, go to a doctor, check his blood sugar and all this stuff. And Blade, you know, he just kept on drinking, kept on chugging along, doing shots of uh, Jägermeister all night long. I mean, just last night, you're going to see clips from not only a few nights ago, but just last night when you're seeing this video. Just the night before, he was doing it again, just going down on a giant bottle of Jäger. You know, it doesn't stop. The party doesn't stop for Blade. And that's because the party is the only thing that fills his pockets and everyone's got to make money somehow. This just so happens to be the way that Blade makes money, as we've already been over. One of the things that people rip on Blade for the most and point to and say how bad his health is, is the fact that his legs are filled with holes, which is another problem with his diabetes that's gone untreated for years. Now, Blade's claimed a million and one times that things are getting better and he's doing better, but the picture we're about to look at now does not indicate anything of the sort. Um, and once again, I just want to give you a heads up. This is not the, uh, not the prettiest picture we're about to look at, but I think it's a necessary picture to know just what Blade's going through right now. Because now the next day, he was just sitting there on stream, and when I went in, the whole chat was like, holy shit, look at those leg holes. And look at those leg holes is right, because Blade, he looks terrible. Like I said, this video, I know it just seems like I made this video just to rip on Only Use Me Blade, but no... I wanted to show people this because I want anyone who maybe has diabetes, anyone who's somehow living this same lifestyle as Blade, which I doubt there are very few, but I mean, if there's someone out there who's like, who, who's going down the same path, just look at this guy. You do not want to, you don't want to be like this. And it's, it's not like it's just the health problems too, because the sad part about Blade's life, of course, a big part of it is his health, but it's the fact that he goes to these RVs all the time just to get picked on and fucked with. 
that is when he's blacked out drunk. Because don't don't get it twisted. The people on this RV, they look up to Blade. They kiss this man's ass when he's sober. They look at him like he's some streaming god. When all the while it's just some fat drunk who who once had a big YouTube channel and now has resorted to this. So to give you a little bit of backstory of the clips you're about to see, this is like the third time I've seen Blade on an RV trip in like the past two to three months. I know he was on an RV and going around with Bjorn not too long ago, but then he went home back to his wife, his cheating wife that is, back in Seattle. But now Blade's here on this RV again with uh, Chicken and all these other guys. Chicken, by the way, is the guy who Blade's wife cheated on him with, so he, he doesn't give a shit. No shame for Blade. But I guess streaming at the house just doesn't give him enough tips to really live the life he wants to live. So he goes on these excursions to these RVs to try to rake in some money, head back home to a life where he doesn't have to drink all night. Because don't get it twisted, Blades made it known before on stream that he doesn't like doing this. If he's not getting paid for it, he just doesn't drink. He doesn't want to go out with his friends and have a couple beers. The only reason he does this is to make money. And if he could stop tomorrow and find something else, you bet your ass he probably would. But seeing the shape the guy's in now, he knows this is his really only logical way of income. So that's one of the saddest things about it, knowing that it's a dude who doesn't want to do this but's trapped doing it. Do you know how sad of a life that is? You, you don't want to sit here all day and kill yourself with alcohol, but you got to do it anyway, and you got to do it on the same RV as the dude who your wife just cheated on you with. It's a rough life, but it's a life that Blades, uh, he's given to himself now by doing all the dumb shit he's done for years. But with that being said, let's jump into it and see how a normal night for Blade goes. Because, you know, remember, this is his job, and I know a lot of you guys gotta wake up in the morning, you gotta go to work, and you're thinking, fuck, I don't wanna have to do that. Well, on your ride to work tomorrow, just remember this. Thank God you're not having to make your money like this. This seems like a fucking lot of alcohol. I think it, it looks half decent. What's going on? Huh? Okay, do you need help? We need a reverse? Oh. Dude, Jaeger with no Red Bull is death. Ew, dude, like, he fucking chased Jaeger with water. Like, I don't, if you ever drinking Jaeger before, that shit does leave such an aftertaste. It's one of the worst, personally, but, uh, he's right on the fact that you need some Red Bull. You can't, like, I've never wanted to drink Jaeger if it wasn't a Jaeger bomb, and even then, it's just that, <laughs> Ja Jaeger ain't my go-to, it's Blade's go-to, though, which is why, at this point, I'm surprised he can't just slug that shit like it's water himself, but seeing him try to chase it with water, just, oh, God. God, no, no, you at least need Mountain Dew or something. But I guess, you know, from the diabetes front, I guess that's better. You know, he's not using a sugary drink to put down this uh, also as unhealthy drink. But, I mean, if he had the Red Bull, he would have done it that way. But I just wouldn't have taken the shot until I had Red Bull. Just, no, no, no. Just, oh, man, I, I did feel his pain on that one. But blade drinking isn't what people donate for at the end of the day. I know it seems like it is, but what they donate for is to see what happens after blade drinks. And, you know, when he's at home with his wife, nine times out of ten, as soon as he gets drunk, that camera gets turned off and there's no real fun stuff on the stream. But when he's here on the RV, even if he shuts down his own stream, other people are sure to capture what goes on. And that's exactly what happened the past few nights. Because Blade just gets pissed drunk, and the other people on the RV who claim they have his best interests in mind all whip out their cameras and start messing with Blade. Because they know that this is really what people want to see at the end of the day. Stop, you ain't me, chicken! You ain't me, chicken! Her Fuck you! You ain't, me, chicken. you ain't me, chicken! Oh, you ain't me, chicken! You ain't me, chicken! We got a fight now! They cleaned it. Yeah, a they fight, dude. Let's go to Detroit. Let's go. I don't no, know. No, but they said done. her uh, skip Cedar Point when we got a herbology here in town. Stop, chicken. Stop. We're coming back to it. 
I'm sorry to go off topic, but that guy in the background really just said, why go to Cedar Point, you know, the most like lit amusement park in the world, when we have a, a fucking weed store in this town? Like, this is coming from one of the biggest stoners you'll ever meet. You do not skip going to Cedar Point because some town has a random fucking weed store in it. You go to Cedar Point ten times out of ten. Just do a quick take, whoever takes the first down, one take okay, down. Okay, 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 okay. One take down. Yeah, yeah. Flip him, Blade! Down. Flip him, Blade! No, I respect him. Flip him over your shoulder. You know I can kill you right now, right? Flip him in. One take down, He always down, wins Blade. against take, you. Take chicken down. Chicken One always down. wins. Oh! Oh, oh shit. he got him. Oh, Who's shit. Who's Blake, get him. Tap? Who's gonna tap? Where's the ears? Who's oh, gonna tap? Chicken goes on oh, top of the team. I'm, I'm rapping, I'm rapping. <laughs> Who's tapping? Who's tapping? Let's go, let's go. I'm good. Let me get him, Blade. Let me have a triple now. He wants oh, a triple, no dude. Blade is getting it. He wants Blade's a triple. Gone. I'll take my triple now. As Blade's lying on the ground, he's just not having any of this. He's just like, yeah, it's time for me to take my triple shot. I just want to keep drinking. He wants to eventually pass out, go to sleep. Probably doesn't want to be here on the floor of this dirty RV getting wrestled by the same guy who wrestled his wife a few months back. It's, uh, it's, it's not the best time for Blade, but, you know, this is just some lighthearted shit. This is just them messing with the big old goofball Blade, which they do all the time. So there's nothing too harmful right here. But once Blade starts getting even more blacked out and starts falling asleep, now it's time to mess with him even more because this time he really can't fight oh, back. There you go. Oh, there you go. Do you want it? Do you need he a sick? For, he asked for a sick uh, earlier. Get a sick, dude. Puff. Inhale. He's oh, got good. it. He wanted to smoke. Yeah, he got it. It's all good. Red. Red. Black. Go to black. Oh, he's you're totally go. smoking. You're gonna ash your eyeball though, at that angle. Dude, that's fucked up. The way that they dangerously placed that cigarette in his mouth makes it look a lot like a candle on a birthday cake. Which would be more funny if he actually looked like a birthday cake, which he does not. Yet. Good thing they just cleaned. <laughs> That's right, clean every day. We love to clean. Cleaning is fun, dude. Mm. Play, be nice. You need to shave. You're like a cake. I'll pee right now. I'll pee right. Well, well, ah! I'm showing you where the spot is, Blade. I'm showing you where the spot is. First shave, then pee. I'm showing you where the spot is. Oh, you look good, dude. I love you. I love you. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. You're something about me. Hey, Blade. 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 Hey,
This was stupid. Do I do this with milk? You know what? Play cheers. I don't even need you. Yeah, so basically what these guys do is, they get Blade here on the RV, they wait till he gets shit-faced drunk, and they all whip out their phones and record Blade and the things that they do to Blade just to try to get views on their own stream. And... It's, like I said, Blade's not the best person. These people on the RV are clearly not the best type of people. And you might be looking at this and going, man, I kind of do feel bad for Only Use Me Blade. You know, it's just, this is a real tough life the guy has to live. But then you remember, oh yeah, just last week he did a live stream of himself driving around his town, plastered, shit-faced drunk out of his mind. And, uh, I, you know, it's kind of hard to feel bad for a guy when he doesn't give a shit about other people. All of the things that Blade's done in his life, you know, I think it's put him in the spot he's in now, where the only way he can make an income is by buddying up to the guy who his wife cheated on him with, and, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a sad reality, and I've said that a lot throughout this video, but it's the reality that Blade lives, and he, you guys might be saying, wait, it's Smokey, you can't just talk about this drunk driving thing and not tell us about it, and fine, I won't tell you about it, I'll just show you it, because Blade live-streamed the whole thing, which, you know, I don't I don't know for a fact if this is or isn't the case, but the fact that this just happened like maybe a week ago and now Blade's here halfway across the country on this RV makes me think, hmm, maybe he needed to get out of town for a little bit, but who knows. But yeah, Blade just last week decided during a stream, hey, I need more Jaeger, so I'm gonna get in the car shit-faced out of my mind and drive to the store to get it and you know what i'm also going to do i'm also going to live stream it so i just before i show you this want you to know thankfully no one got hurt not blade not any other innocent person in this even though blade wouldn't be innocent in this but yeah this is just a dumb doofy bastard deciding hey you know my my jaeger bottle is more important than anything else and nothing is going to stop me from getting it real real hard watch this one Can you help me out here? Yeah, I don't think so. What do you mean? Fart, fart in your mouth, brother. Oh, get it. Get it. Come on, come stop. I'm super lit, dude. I shouldn't be driving around here. Do you want, baby? Yes, yes, yes. I admit, uh, not my finest moment, but uh, in a drunken stupor, I drove a motor vehicle on around my neighborhood. Uh, there's no excuses for that. I feel like a piece of shit for it, dude. Um, yeah, there's no. Hey, oh. The great Krim Romney donated three dollars. Yo. You have to give us the play-by-play -play after the stream ended. How pissed was Beck? Um, to be honest with you, I don't remember because I was out of my mind drunk, dude. Yeah, nah, no matter what, what way you want to spin it, that was fucked up. You see this man in that one clip there just zooming down the street. As soon as he hits the brakes, he's flying back into his seat. Like, he didn't, he didn't even know where he was at half the time. He had that thousand-mile stare in his eyes. That could have ended horribly. But thank God it didn't. Thank God Blade didn't manage to get anyone hurt. And, of course, after the fact, Blade got online, gave a superficial apology, said, Oh, you know, my bad, won't happen again. But with him doing this every night, getting this plastered, it's obvious that this isn't going to stop anytime soon unless this man quits drinking but with quitting drinking would mean quitting his job and he's not planning on quitting this job anytime soon so if you know anything about only use me blade or maybe you're a newcomer to hearing about him i would just say it's up to you to determine whether he's brought this on himself or not does he deserve these type of actions is it the people he surrounds himself with i mean of course it is these dudes in the rv with him are no better than blade they're just a bunch of degenerates i want to point out one guy in particular this dude you're seeing on screen now across the table from him yeah that guy's name is saint
And Saint, well, there's really nothing significant about him at all. He's just a 40-year-old bum who, I'm pretty sure he's homeless and he has nowhere to live, so he's on this RV just kind of like taking orders from Chicken, who's in his early 20s. Like, imagine that. Imagine being a 40-year-old man just walking around this kid like his puppy because you have nowhere else to live. And this dude... You know, he's the one you've been hearing in the background of all these clips being like, Blade, stop being mean. Hey, Blade, Chickens is doing what's best for you and all this. This dude, right, I just want to tell you a quick story, and I'm not going to show you it on screen because it was absolutely gross. You saw what Blade's leg holes look like earlier, and Blade's feet are also known to be quite disgusting. Well, the other night, this dude, Saint, just inexplicably, while Blade's sitting there passing out, just decides, hey, I'm going to go down and put Blade's feet in my mouth. And he did it. And it was the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. Like, it was, it was, I had to turn off the screen. Dude, like, no, no. It was like, what the fuck is wrong with you? No one was even donating for him to do that. Like, no one said, hey, I'll donate you so much amount of money if you do this. He just did it to do it. And the dude sat up and acted like it was some badge of honor because Blade's like some streaming OG. It was the most... The, the dumbest shit I've ever seen. And these are the people he's surrounding himself with. People who just, like, their whole lives surround around this, like, you know, the IRL content and shit like that. And it's, it's just, it's, oh, man. Just imagine being that guy. The highlight of your day is putting Blade's foot in your mouth for not a single dime. It's a sad, sad reality for all of these people, not just Blade. But Blade is the one who this video is about, and I want you guys to walk away from this just knowing men, no matter how bad shit gets, never let people give you money to slowly drink yourself into an early grave. It's, uh, this is what happens to you. When you let people just pay you to, to fucking harm yourself all day, you end up in a situation like this, surrounded by people like this, and it's all the fault of your own. Now, I don't think anyone's going to argue if it's not Blade's fault or not, but I think many people may argue, does he deserve this? Well, like I said, it's, it's, it's what he wants. You know, he, like he said, it's the only thing he can do. So who knows? Who knows where the story with Blade goes? But after that drunk driving incident and seeing how all this happens, I know it's his only way to make money. But Blade, if you even cared about yourself one bit, you realize something that's very important. You realize something that, you know, if you just listen to it, and even if even if it's the hardest thing in the world, if you just really set your mind to it and tried, you could probably do it. And you know what, Blade? I'll let you hear it from your own mouth what that advice has to be. If you have an alcohol problem, you should figure it out. Huh? You definitely should figure it out, Blade. But he's trying to figure out his health issues, but he's not going to stop the drinking. He's really trying to get himself in shape, and it's not for the betterment of himself. It's for something different. It's because Blade recently saw the success that Keemstar had with Wings of Redemption and Boogie. And if you don't know much about Blade's past, him and Keemstar used to be the best of friends. Blade even one, at one time moved out to Buffalo to do a podcast with Keemstar back in the day. And he's reached out to Keem and said basically, hey... I went in on that YouTube boxing shit. And what Keemstar told him was, fine, just send me a bunch of videos of you training and getting ready for the fight. And instead of doing that, Blade's just sitting here getting drunk every night doing this, but still swearing that he's going to get out there tomorrow, walk around, get his cardio up, and really get into shape. But what he really means is he's going to walk to the liquor store, buy alcohol, get absolutely shit-faced, and the next day walk there again and just keep saying, well, Keemstar, at least I'm walking. You know, I can't give up the drinking, but at least I can give up all this other shit. Which, you know, it's never going to work out for Blade. Yeah, I don't think we'll ever be able to see him get in a YouTube boxing match. I know it was still a fucking... <laughs> it was a Hail Mary that Wings and Boogie were able to pass their physicals. But you think Blade will? Especially when he can't quit drinking just because it's his only source of income. I mean, if he had to get ready for that fight, like he had like three or four months to get ready, you think he'd be able to quit drinking in that time? Absolutely not, because he wouldn't be making any money. So... I don't think that's going to happen, but that's definitely where Blade seems to think his life is heading. So if you guys are interested in this, you know, maybe we'll cover some more Only Use Me Blade. Let me know what you guys think down below. Do you want to see more Blade? Do you want to see more content like this? Uh, just, just let me know. and Let me know what you want to see in general. You know, let me know what you guys like, uh, what you guys want to see videos on. And I'll definitely try my best to put them into works, my friends. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one today. I know it was a bit of a harder watch because Blade is just, Blade is fucking worst and the people around him make it even worse than, like, it, it gets worse, but then it becomes the absolute worst, you know? So, yeah. 
I hope you guys enjoyed it. And even if you didn't, I thank you for sticking around the whole time. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And with that being said, I want to give shouts out to Vanessa, Scaly Schisms, Churlish, Adrian Lara, All Right Stingy, Randy Leahy, Wade Pauls, Trademark, Commander Louie, Craddy, Justin S, The Ghostbusters Fan, Steve from Machete Squad, Vaga, Count Drugula, SK Rux, Bullet BP, Synthesis, Fat Potato, Dan Dan Noodles, Emery, ATK Cast, Jason Breen, Philly B, Based Trucker, Robot Gorilla Man, Soda Joe, Seal Currently, Eric Estrada, Everborn Jurassic Clark, Akita's Beat Fan, Cowboy Pete, Hillbilly Wizard, Sora Trash, Hurricane Salem, Prideful Jester, Cyanide Candy, Smokey's Dealer, Kiwi Bros, Griffin Shivo, Austin Vidal, Club Doom, Sarah's Van, Gryphon, Jay Avarice, Tilted Jay, Costai, Zangetsu Black, Jay Sorensen, Brady Gravy, GP Does, Super Kame Jizzler, Greg the Rich, TJ Trap Lordius, Grizzly Slug, Bob Skywalker, Just a Normal Bottle of Mustard, Ignatius Bartleby, Arlington, Brazilian Dude, Snowshoes, Jelly, Black Meddler, Radon, MXAX, Isaiah, Dalton, Sky Fitzpatrick, Quantum Cat, Ronnie Willis, Grizzly Bear, Pubsy, Soul Reaper, Matt C, Manny, Boston Meathorn, Sergeant Retro, The Red Scum, Barfunkle Shag, Nasty, Pebra, Night Scraper, August Varney, Azrael St. Cloud, Nabarius, Cobra's Manky Tooth, Canadian Funkle, Skyler, Irma, Sleepy Sloth, Crushed Shadow, Viet Bong Bet, Logan Cole, Ja, The Mean Man Dan, Hot Towered, Coffee Moose, Dope and Smoke, What, Zuzu, Brandon, Kerma, Turd Burglar, Marshall Rogers, Minty Smith, Mr. Smith from LCA, Nunya Business, Pun Pun, Unicorn is God, Bro Follow, Sloth Thing, Danny the Foot, Blue Sapphire, Proto Shock, Spiral Colors, Jammer X, Pastor Arthur Montgomery, Brutal Strudel, Dirty J, TNUC, TAF, Ian Corrado, Sword Brother, Brock Lobster, Nomags, Guru Guru, Pineapple Posse, Nate F, Larry Fishmas, Mr. Muda, Patat, Mrs. Starscream, Empty Bat, Mary Mattingly, Doc 703, Josh Dayton, Based Milf Slayer, The Locale Lounge, GH Champ, Bizarre Showcase, Rexo, Neat Life, LEP 97, 100 Norwals, Hoodie Bruh, Sludge Maniac, Night Shroud, Operator 5781, Bobby Queso, King of Town, Cappy Barman, Dan Wolf, Draco the Golden, JB, Blackwing Gaming, Tiki's General Store, AB, Jeff Weber, Cherry, Joey Huey, Coombender, Visual Vintage, Holly and Hell, Try Give Black Tiger, Alex Esco, Blueberry Psycho, Sydney Jones, LB, Benjamin Vault, Kairos, Big Jim, David June, Sparks Epsilon, Toxic Avenger, Dominic, Jamie Rose, Logan Whatnot, Sneaksies, Extra Zero, Clyde Cash. Cash's Cash Stash, Mr. Krabs, Rowdy Oni, Drunk Serval, Peace, Lieutenant Black Butter, Ziamara Moo, Cromlock, Guru, Victor D, Sebastian, Maxin at the Fort, I Eat Bugs and Plants, Dane Justice, For Real, Anti CK, Trash Boat, That One, Stacy Newbie, DJ Cannon, Big Bad Gruff, Toxic T, Sadie T, Bob Bob Bob, Meat Man, Shannon Rose, Dead Barbarian, Vish K, Kanka the Great, Depraved Grapes, A Random Stormcloak, Wet Floor Coney, Reb Zoomer, Hot Wheels, Dylan W, Thunder Bays, Hunter Cobb, Tom. Nico Bellin, Spooky, Dougal Johnson, Buttworm Wilkins, <laughs> Chrissia Guibelt, I'm sorry for butchering that one, Quinn Quimson, Cowboy Woozy, Windigo, Billy Bones, Ben Carson 2024, Hyena Man, Your Wife's Boyfriend, Tony Tokyo, Marissa, Peanut Mama, Antrust, CHX Carnage, Anton Levy, Rex One Kittles, Chat Creeper, Mr. Jinx, Tardis, Full Thickness, Hashoop, Bimp Liskit, John Smithy, Cod Rankwin, Alex, BTF Nation, Shoop to Hoop, Chris Chance Phantom Bottle Collection, Alexander, It's Sub, Old Man Bradley, Kira, The Mothman, Shekel, The Ghostbusters Fan, Nocturne, Kiwi Bay, Mint, Crafts and Cartoon, Corey Trevor, Calzone, Portuguese Horse, Weeaboo, Funky Weapon, Mage Hand, Slap Fight, Andrew Guest, Weedabix, Chewy, Linguini God, Brandon Williford, Super Comet Jizzler, Hunter B, Zeepo, Dingbat, Raven, Horsepower Hour, Tim Bang, Metal Wolf, Irma, Coggles, Tequila Johnson, Young Voodoo, Your Boy B Rob, Ephraim B, Crazy Kids, Laura Smith, Sharp Metal Edge, Sleepy Sloth, Project Spiral, Legendary Duelist, Vix the Pumpkin, Naz, WTF Wolf, Moo the Mogul, Kate, Mr. Spaghetti, Man Beast, Ja, Logan Cole, Some Frenchy, Shaggy Mane, Raided, Turtle Platoon, Alpha T, Plague, River Ranger, Frederick, B. Vinoinch, Nappy Toast, The Black Bowser, Laura Fierce, JB Films, Ryan L, Avery the Wanderer, Shiloh, Robbie Mitchell, Part in the Dust, Cario, Barbara Barbussy, Corrected Carlos, Was Dead, Alt Text Wolf, Burger Kerber, Your Psycho Ex Girlfriend, Jackal, Kaito Mondrian, Bright Galaxy, Rodango, Artie Garcia, Jessica G, Bako, What, Wumpa, Brandon, Bard, Sinewave, The Zodiac, Sarah, Cow Wrangler, Conrad, Was Good, Ryan Tanner, Felix Fox, Deus Volter, Seraplex, Clear G, T George, Big Burr, Fluffy, Soul Reaper, Hod Towered, Manny T, Makachi, Danny the Foot, Let a Bitch Live, Keems Bogar, and Nikolai JV. 
thank you to everyone who's a member of the channel, and thank you to everyone who made it to the end of this video. I really gotta figure out what to do here with that uh, squeaky-ass <laughs> shout-out at the end of the video, but gotta speed them up somehow, and we're close to pushing 500 here, and I can't, I can't thank you guys for that enough. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your week, great rest of your summer, because it's almost here, my friends. And just, you know, if you want to go out with your friends for a drink, go out and do it. Go have a good time. But just remember, don't make it your life. Don't make alcohol your one source of income. Don't make alcohol something you have to rely on for your job. Don't, uh, don't hurt yourself like that. But... You know, let's just all, I think we can all sit back, be happy that we're not only using me blade, and uh, it's going to help everyone get through their day with that thought in mind. So my friends, until I see you in the next one, take care, and be safe. I'll see you then.